Welcome to Drill America Tool School. This presentation will describe basic information regarding taps and dies. For more information about our products and product video demonstrations, please visit our website, www.drillamerica.net. What are taps and dies? Taps and dies are cutting tools used to cut new threads or clean existing screw threads. Taps cut new threads or clean existing screw threads inside of a hole. Dies cut new threads or clean existing screw threads on a rod or other workpiece. Taps and dies have a number of features that differentiate them from other cutting tools. The size of the tap or die is determined by the diameter and the number of threads per inch. For example, a quarter inch by 20 tap or die means that the diameter is one quarter inch and the threads per inch, also called TPI, is 20. Taps and dies typically come in two materials. The material determines what application the tap or die will work for. Carbon steel is used for cleaning up or fixing threads. High-speed steel is used for making new threads. Taps are categorized by many different features. The most common types of taps are hand taps, which include taper, plug, and bottoming taps, NPT taps, which are also called pipe taps, spiral point taps, which are also called gun taps. There are many other types of taps, which are less common. These types of taps include Acme, NPS, British Standard, extension taps, and nut taps. Hand taps are the most common taps and are the most versatile for hand use. They are popular for use in general hand tapping and appropriate for tapping the vast majority of materials in through or blind hole conditions. The three types of hand taps are taper, plug, and bottoming taps. Taper taps also called starter taps, have a slightly pointed tip with 7 to 10 thread chamfer. Taper taps are used to start the thread square with the workpiece. They are most often used when the material to be tapped is difficult to work or the tap is of a very small diameter and thus prone to breakage. Plug taps are the most versatile and commonly used type of hand tap. They have a three to five thread chamfer. Plug taps are generally used in through holes. They assist in aligning and starting the tap into an untapped hole and also used to cut threads until the point of the tap reaches bottom of the hole. High speed steel taps normally have a center drilled hole on the shank for aligning purposes. Bottoming taps have a flat top with a continuous cutting edge with almost no taper, just one to one and a half thread chamfer. Bottoming taps are for use in cutting threads to the bottom of a blind hole. They are usually used to cut threads in a hole that has already been partially threaded using a taper or plug tap. The tapered end, tap chamfer, of a bottoming tap is too short to successfully start into an unthreaded hole. Spiral point taps, also called gun taps or machine taps, are used for production with a tapping head. The tap shoots chips ahead of the cutting action, thus reducing loading and clogging in the flutes. These taps are recommended for use in through or blind holes, which allow for chip accumulation in the bottom of the hole. They are ideal for threading a wide variety of ductile materials, copper and copper alloys, brass, and non-metallics. Like hand taps mentioned before, the plug style is the standard for gun taps, but bottoming is also available. Here is an image of a hand tap in action. As you can see, the tap is making threads inside of a hole. National Pipe Taper Taps also called NPT taps or pipe taps, are for use on threaded pipes and pipe fittings. The size of a pipe tap 
is that of the pipe fitting to be tapped, not the actual size of the tap. These taps should not be confused with NPS, which is National Pipe Straight. Moving on to dies. As we mentioned before, while taps cut new threads or clean existing screw threads inside of a hole, dies cut new threads or clean existing screw threads on a rod or other workpiece. Round dies are typically made of high-speed steel and can be used to make new threads or re-thread. The OD of the die, short for outside diameter, can range from 5 eighths to 4 inches. A die stock, also called die handle, is required for use. The die stock size corresponds with the die's OD. The following slides will show a round die held in a die stock in action, making threads on a workpiece. As you will see here, the die is being held in a die stock next to an unthreaded workpiece. The die is now wrapped around the workpiece and is being turned to make new threads. As you can see, after the die is turned multiple times, the threads now appear on the workpiece. Hex dies are typically made of carbon steel and are used to clean up or fix damaged threads. They are not recommended for making new threads. They are a cost-effective way to clean up threads. Hex dies are ideal for maintenance in the shop or field. No special die handle is required as a normal wrench works for turning. If you have any other questions about Drill America taps and dies, please visit our website www.drillamerica.net or contact us. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.